This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics. In today's episode you will learn how to make a completely functional automation system included with a feedback feature using a pair of Arduino boards, LoRa SX1278 transceiver modules, four channels relay module and some electrical loads. I will also share with you the maximum distance and how quickly and accurately it sends the feedback message. I have already made several videos on SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. However, today's video is of a somewhat different level because the project which I'm going to design today will prove useful for you. Why am I saying so? You will get its answer during the practical demonstration. As I have just said, I have already made many videos on LoRa transceiver modules. In my very first video, I explained the pinout, technical specifications and how to use LoRa SX1278 with Arduino. So during that project, I sent the Hello World message wirelessly. You are well aware that for the beginners, Hello World project is an ideal project. This was basically a getting started tutorial. After this, I explained in detail how you can conduct two-way communication over a long distance. For demonstration purposes, I used a push button on one side, whereas on the other side, I used a potentiometer as an analog sensor. If you are interested in controlling and monitoring both at the same time, then you must surely watch this video. Anyways, after this, I implemented LoRa network because in most of the cases, only two LoRa modules are not enough. To cover more locations, I created a LoRaWAN network based on three nodes. In this network, every node had a specific address. So if you want to monitor multiple sensors from multiple locations, then you should definitely watch this video. Anyhow, I then designed a LoRa gateway and for this purpose, I used the LoRa SX1278 module with ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This is quite an interesting project because first you bring the sensor data from a remote location where no internet facility is available to the node where the internet is available and then you send that sensor data to an IoT platform with the help of a gateway. By doing so you can monitor any sensor from any part of the world provided you have an internet connection. Apart from this there are other projects as well However, the projects which I have just mentioned are undoubtedly very important projects because you can design any project by modifying these projects. Let's now move on to our today's project. You can see four buttons on the transmitter side Arduino. Using these very four buttons, I'm going to control certain loads on the receiver side. For demonstration purposes, I have put four bulbs on the receiver side, which are connected to four relays. Besides lights, you can use any other 110 or 220 volt AC loads or use any other DC type loads. If you want to use 110 or 220 volt AC supply, you must not forget to use protective gloves because 110 or 220 volt AC can prove fatal. So as far as possible, you must ensure the presence of a friend or any companion while carrying on work on such projects. When the AC supply is on, do not touch the relay module. I'm using the same SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules on the receiver as well as the transmitter side. Now you can see that I have turned on the receiver side. I'm powering up the transmitter side through a 4S LiPo battery pack. You may also use a 3S LiPo battery pack or any other type of battery or a DC adapter for this purpose. If you also want to make such a 4S LiPo battery pack, then you can watch my video. I will provide a link in the description. Okay, this is my portable remote controller which is still passing through the testing phases. When everything gets final, I will design a small PCB and an enclosure for it. Anyways, let us start testing. I can randomly turn on or turn off any light and it is working quite superbly. This small delay occurs because I have used timers on the transmitter 
and receiver side. You can increase or decrease the timer value if you want. During the line of sight testing, there tends to be no issues. I have checked this system so many times and it's working just perfectly. However, one gets frustrated after finding that no electrical loads are visible. I'm turning buttons on and off. However, I cannot determine whether the loads are being controlled on the receiver side or not because I cannot see loads as yet. Perhaps loads are being controlled. However, I'm confused because still I can't see the loads. In such a situation, we might have problems. Is it is possible that Arduino might have turned off and you keep thinking that the signals which you are sending are being successfully implemented. While in reality, nothing might be happening. We can solve this issue if the receiver side sends us a feedback message and this is what I'm going to do next. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. If you want to start with Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. I have modified the code and you can see I have also added a display on the transmitter side. I will display the status of electrical loads on this display. So let us power up the transmitter side and see how this system works. Now Arduino and LoRa based communication system presents quite a practical look. Whenever I turn on or turn off any button on the transmitter side, the receiver side sends me a feedback whether that load has turned on or not. Now even if I do not see electrical appliances or loads, there is no problem because I keep on receiving feedback from the receiver's side. Now, if there is some issue on the receiver side, I will not receive any kind of feedback. Or if I get out of the range, even then I will receive no feedback. To explain this point, I am going to turn off the receiver side Arduino. Now you can see that I am not receiving any type of feedback. Now if I turn on the receiver side Arduino once again, I will start receiving the feedback. I have been testing this project for the last two days and it's working exceptionally well. If you are thinking about its real implementation, do not forget to use the watchdog timer on the receiver side because with the help of a watchdog timer, you can restart the receiver side Arduino automatically if it hangs due to any particular reason. I am sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system works. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The 
components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The SX1278 LoRa module connection with the Arduino remains exactly the same as explained in my previous LoRa based projects. Four switches are connected with the Arduino pins 2, 3, 4 and 5. SSD1306 or LED display module, SCL and SDA pins are connected with the Arduino's A5 and A4 pins. On the left side is the regulated 5 volt power supply which accepts a wide range of input DC voltages between 7 and 28 volts. On the receiver side of 4 channels, relay modules connected with the Arduino pins 2, 3, 4 and 5 while the connections of the SX1278 LoRa module remains exactly the same. Now let's take a look at the transmitter and receiver side programming. This project is based on two programs. This program is written for the transmitter and this program is written for the receiver side. These codes are the modified versions of the codes I used in my previous project based on the two-way communication. Let's first take a look at the transmitter side programming. I added the Adafruit JFX and Adafruit SSD1306 libraries for the OLED display module. You can download these libraries from my article. Next I defined the local address, destination and these variables for the timer. Next I defined 4 switches. Next I defined these 4 variables for storing the status of all the 4 switches in the form of 0 and 1. We use these status values to control relays on the receiver side. Next I defined these 4 variables to store the status feedback values of the 4 loads received from the receiver side. Now let's go to the loop function. First we read the status of the switches. Then we make a complete message and send it to the receiver side. Arduino checks and sends the control commands after every few milliseconds. If you want, you can change the interval. After sending the message, then the Arduino checks if any data is received from the receiver side. The data which is received from the receiver side is the feedback message. This feedback message consists of the relay's status in the form of 0 and 1. So the incoming message is split and the feedback status values are stored in their respective variables where its values are displayed on the OLED display module. The get value function is used to split a string message using a delimiter. In my case, I'm using comma as the delimiter. If you want, you can use any other character as the delimiter. So that's all about the transmitter side programming. And now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side, I'm using the same libraries, addresses and timer interval. This time I also defined these four flags. I'm using these flags to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. Next, you can see I also defined pins for the four relays. Next, I defined these four variables for storing the control commands received from the transmitter. These control commands are used to control all the four relays. Finally, I'm using these four variables to store the status of all the four relays. These values are used to create a feedback message which is sent to the transmitter side. Now let's go to the loop function. Now, this time I'm reading the status of all the four relays. Then we create a complete message, which is the feedback message and send it to the transmitter side. Then the Arduino checks if any data is received. This time the received message consists of the control commands which are received from the transmitter. The Arduino splits the entire message and then using if conditions, the relays are turned on or turned off depending on the received values. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.